girl lem and if you didn't know yeah you now you know um i'm just back with another fast paced video it's super quick and i sped through a lot of it um and skipped a couple of steps and processes because either i have videos on that already or i just feel like it's something that wasn't really the focus of the video this is kind of just like general you know big pieces of information so like highlighting and um like the eyes really so this is just a very simple look that is great and very versatile. You can duplicate this same method with a variety of color combinations to still get that same smoky uh, but sultry effect with the shimmers. Um, but you know you can make it daytime, nighttime, date night, ball game. I mean whatever you're really into you can make it for that. Check, 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 check it out. Check it out, check it out. Inserts music. Mm. But um yeah if you guys want to see how i got this look you already know don't go nowhere starting in like three seconds bye it's okay no matter what the occasion is let's not do that again okay but um yeah it's i can't even see you guys anymore can you guys see me let's let's just part the sea like moses part the sea like moses for the time being okay maybe let's get a little side part going maybe that would be cute okay we might have something here Hey y'all, welcome back. So we're gonna start off by moisturizing our skin. I'm gonna apply my coconut water all over and let it air dry. Brows, you already know, will be brought to you via the crayon case. Brow pomade in the shade dark brown. Bloop! Magic. Look at that magic. To start out, I'll be going into my box of crayons palette, dipping into the shade tan with a fluffy blending brush, and I will be applying that all in my crease, oh, going up towards the brow bone. I like to apply in layers so that I get the color payoff that I need, and I'm going to do the same thing to the other eyes so, you know, we're even. I'm next going to move on to the same palette. I'm going to go into the shade brown, and I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and apply that directly in the crease, blending it into the tan, softening the edges um, into the brown. I like to use also little windshield wiper motions as well as circular motions to blend out those edges to make sure everything is really soft. Next, I'll be dipping into the Watch Me Blush palette, dipping into the color Sweet Tea, which is a bronzy copper shimmer color. And I will be applying that all over the lid with a fluffy eyeshadow brush. I'm going to kind of go above my crease, that way the shimmer shade won't transfer uh, onto the hood of my eye. And then I'm just going to take that brush that I used to blend uh, the dark brown and go over the edge of that copper color to blend it out and soften it up. And it will kind of give a softer, smokier effect if you apply it a little bit higher than your crease. I'm going to line my waterline and lower lash line with the jumbo pencil from NYX in the color Milk. So that way any shadows that I apply on top of it will be more vibrant, they'll last longer, and they will have something to stick to. So on the lower lash line, I'm going to apply a red shade with a small precise brush and I'm going to apply that right on top of the white pencil. This will make it uh, stick better, last longer, and it'll be much brighter. And I just like to work in small little strokes and I don't like to drag too much. On the lower lash line, I'm just going to go in with that dark brown shade and just apply it and blend it underneath the lower lash line. Now I'm going to just apply some mascara really quickly so that when I apply my false lashes that they'll blend a lot better and look a little bit fuller. And like that, the eyes were made. And like that, the eyes were made.
I'm gonna spritz my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water. And this leaves my face nice and sticky so that when I apply makeup, uh, my foundation, it will last a lot longer and it sticks way better. Here you just see me doing a little casual flash test, making sure my foundation is, uh, you know, set, beat, just looking right, not looking like a ghost. I'm going to take my crayon case, chalk dust in the letter O, and I'm just going to, you know, highlight, get that under eyes looking nice and bright. And now for final touches, I'm going to go into the Watch Me Blush palette in the shade Old Bananas. And I'm going to use that to highlight my inner corner because no eye look is complete without your inner corner highlight. Now we're just going to finish off with the signature Nude Ombre Lip, okay? Nothing spectacular, nothing fancy. We're going to do some highlighting, okay? Because you know glow got to be on a thousand. It is your girl. And that is it. We're done. Finished look hair is thriving looking curly we just we're we're looking we're looking good so thank you guys so much for watching and until next time i will see you then and make sure you subscribe you knew the deal do it